Hello, everybody, and welcome back to G. Parker's Arcade, or at least from the office portion, where we are going to show you a new table, or another table. It's Radical, a ballet table, and I thought I'd uh, put together a little uh, media pack for you for your pinball emporium, which the link for the download is in the description. Also in that download is a text file that will take you to the links where you can download this table and the direct B2S file. So with that being said, let's uh, get to a little table play here. I always like to let everybody see what the table plays like. And here we go, we'll launch the ball. Kind of a cool table. I really like it. Two flippers on the right, two on the left. Lots of neat sound effects, lots of color. Fast moving ball. It's just like a fun table to add to your collection. And again, in the description of this video is the link where you can download a zip file, or a 7Z file, that you can uh, unpack. And it's going to have all the file structure set up exactly right for you with your media for Pinball Emporium for your front end. <coughs> and it's also going to have, in that text file, the links to where you can download these tables. And once you do, you'll just put the table in the direct B2S file, right where I'm going to show you here in a little bit, and then copy this all over into Pinball Emporium, and you'll be ready to go. That being said, I'm going to let this ball drain. Now, something I've talked about before in the past, and I want to make sure I showed you on this video. I haven't always done it on the video. I, I have a past video that shows you how to get rid of this DMD that's showing up on your B2S back glass. Now, some tables require that you have this, but if you can see, I'm moving my mouse over to that screen here. If you can see it, now it's on the back glass. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now, what uh, if, if you have trouble doing that, I did a video in the past on how to make your mouse visible, so go back and look under my tutorials. But you're going to have to get that mouse over there, and you can see that uh, you can actually drag that around. And you really don't have to do that. I'm just showing you this to sh so that you can see that underneath that DMD is some scoring and other information other that is provided on the DMD but you don't need with this particular back glass this is an interactive back glass some of them aren't and you have to have the DMD so you really don't have to come over here all you have to do is while you're on the main play field is a uh, hit F1 it brings up that menu for you and I know it's small and it's sideways up there but there it is nonetheless and what you're gonna have to do is there's some check marks in that left column and you can use your mouse to get over there but again some of you may not have your mouse set up to do this yet so here's another way you can do it when you're on that screen you can hit tab and I don't know if you can see, but I'm moving through all the menu options. And you don't want to change any of them until you get down to this one down here. It says, Use External DMD. Now you're down there to that one. Now I'm going to move through all these again with my tab key so you can see the movement. And I'm going to keep doing that a little bit till you can get your eyes on what's going on on the main play field right in the center. Now see, I'm moving down. Now this time I'm going to stop on Use External DMD. Now if your mouse is working, you can just unclick that. But if it's not, just go down there to where that one's highlighted and hit your space bar. It unchecked that box. I'll hit the space bar again. It'll check it. Uncheck. Check. Uncheck. I'm just doing that over and over to give you a chance to get over there and see what I'm doing. Checked and unchecked. Now it's unchecked. Use your tab key. It's going to scroll down through everything else. Don't change anything else. It's right now on info. It's over on reset. It's over on OK. Hit your enter key. 
it's going to give you this little notice that the table has to be exited. Visual pinball has to be exited, and you have to restart it. Just hit OK. And you just hit your escape key and exit out of the table. Now, if, you've, if you're doing this while you're already in Pinball Emporium, you just uh, exit as usual and then reload the table. But I'm doing it outside of Pinball Emporium. I again, if you're inside Pinball Emporium to make these adjustments, um, which you can do, uh, all you have to do is hit your escape key. But I'm just going to edit, quit to the editor, <coughs> and I have to close Visual Pinball. Now, now that I already did that, I'm not going to go back and show you it's gone because we're going to go to install on the rest of this. I kind of jumped ahead to show you how to do that. So now let's back up and get into installing this. So the reason I'm backing up is that was just something you would do after you get this installed. So when you get my download, here's the download you're going to get, and it's in the description. PE Radical WM.7 Z. Now, before I used to do these in the download folder, but I've moved them over to, I just make a new folder. And you can see this one's called Radical, and I call it YouTube because it's the one I was going to do the demonstration on. But just make a folder. I find it's better if you just make a folder and move this folder this file over to a folder that you can recognize so it doesn't just some of these files they just extract them and there's stuff thrown everywhere you want to make sure you know where it's at so you're not gonna have these two files yet the top two and let me get over there to a bigger screen here there I want to kind of start over again I made this folder <laughs> to put the download in you're gonna have the radical WM7Z you will not have these files yet these top two files. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the file that I gave you and you're going to go to 7-zip and you're going to hit extract here. That's going to give you three things. A collections folder, an emulators folder, and the radical text. First let's start with a text file. Open that up. Here is the links for the table, the link for the back glass. You can see those there on the text file. Just take and copy and paste these. Just copy this. You can highlight it, right click and hit copy and paste it into your browser. It'll take you to that page. Same thing with the back glass. Highlight the URL, right click and hit copy and paste it. It's the only thing you really need that file for. Now once you download those you're going to end up with these two compressed files. You're going to have this Radical Bally 1980 prototype, all this verbiage here, vpx.zip and you're going to end up with this Radical Bally 1990 RAR file. Okay. Now you can unzip two zip files at the same time, so for time's sake I'm going to do this. You can do it separately if you want, but I'm going to highlight both those files, right click, go to 7-zip, and hit extract here. Okay, here's what you end up with. Now, again, this is what I do. You don't have to do it. That zip file and that RAR file, I'm going to delete those. Get them out of the way. You don't need them anymore because they were just two zip files with two regular files in them. You got the files now. And you really don't need my zip file anymore, so you could delete it. I'm going to delete it. I end up with too many copies of this stuff on my system. Want to permanently delete it? Yes. Okay, this is what you should end up with that's important to you, though. And the text file is really not so important anymore, but you can save it in case you want the links again, in case you have to go back and get them again. 
But the main thing you want here is your VPX file and your direct B2S file. What's important here is, I've said this in the past, everything is set up in the collections folder for your front end. The names have to match the name of the table. The back glass has to match the name of the table. And the table is this file here, the .vpx file. So, highlight, click on that and highlight that name. Right click and hit copy. Click on the direct B2S file. Highlight just the name. Right click and hit paste. Even if those two names look similar, all it takes is for one character to be out of place, a space, something not exactly right, and it will not work. So always copy the name of your VPX file and paste it onto the name of the direct B2S file. Now with that being said, you just take and drag these two folders over to your emulators folder, these two files over to your emulators folder. Once they're in the emulators folder, grab these two files and drive them into, drag them into the Visual Pinball folder. Once they're in there, you drag these two files and you move them into the Tables folder. And it's going to say replace the destination files because I already had them in there. Now another way you could have done that is you could have clicked on the file name and just copied them and pasted them and went back and you could have copied the files, not the names, the files in there and went to the tables folder and pasted them in there. There's numerous ways to do this within Windows. And I try to be as thorough as I can since some of you just may not know that stuff. And that's where I get aggravated when I watch some videos doing some explanations. They say, just do this, do this, do that. Well, I'm going to make sure you completely understand how it's done. You see, you could have taken these and you could have highlighted them and hit copy. Hey, you're not going to have to do this, but you can go back a folder, see, and I can hit here, and I can hit paste. That's how you manipulate files around. See, I just moved those files there. Now they're still in here, too. I just copied the files. Not the file name, but the file. Now I don't need those, so I'm going to highlight them again and delete them. So make sure your files are in here under emulators, visual pinball tables. That's where you want your VPX file and your direct B2S file. And again, I apologize to those who've been through this rodeo with me before and know how to do this, but I want to make sure that people have a real understanding of how this works. Now, we're going to go right back to Radical. And in YouTube. Now let's check our work. Because this is the folder I've been working in. Visual Pinball under Tables. There's the two names of the uh, two files named exactly the same. Go back to Collections. Here's what I've already done for you. Under Visual Pinball X, under Medium Artwork, under Cover, there's your photo. Your wheel image, I call it, but they call it Cover here. Named exactly the same. Here's your video, which displays on your back glass. Not on your back glass, sorry. It displays on your main play field when you're in <coughs> attract mode or when you're doing a search for a table. And here's your video marquee, <coughs> which that does show on your back glass screen. A little display. Kind of brightens things up and tells you what table you're on. So, let's go back to that. Now all you're going to do is you're going to take now the collections folder and the emulators folder and you're going to highlight them both. And I hope you can see this fine but you're going to get these into Pinball Emporium. I'm going to unexpand this for now just to show you. Mine's in C. Yours could be in D, E, wherever you put Pinball Emporium. I'm going to expand C. That's where mine's at. And you'll see there's the folder Pinball Emporium. I don't want it anywhere in here. I want it in Pinball Emporium. I'm going to grab these two folders. I'm going to set right on top of Pinball Emporium. I'm going to let go. 
Now it's going to replace these because I've already done it. But they should just drop right in there. Again, into the root of Pinball Emporium. If you're not sure that you trust doing it that way, you can open up a second file explorer. This is the folder that I had these in that I've been messing with. Just open up your C drive in here. There's Pinball Emporium there. I could do the same thing. I could come over here. Drop them into there. I can do this a hundred times. It's not going to matter. I can replace the files with the same files. Now let's open up Pinball Emporium. Now I think you're going to notice something here. And I'll make sure I'm right when I'm looking at this before I take it. As we've learned before, the letter M on your keyboard, if you have a keyboard attached, takes you through, when you're in the all tables, it takes you through the alphabet to quicker get up to this R for radical. I think I've got 340 tables on here now. You'd be forever scrolling through. Okay, there's radical. There's your cover picture, as they call it, which is right there, radical on your uh, play field. There's your uh, video marquee on your back glass and your video that's on the uh, play field. Let's load People this loading. up. Now, I think what you're going to see is I think you're going to see that my DMD came back because I copied over that VPX file numerous times showing you this video. No? Actually, it, le it left it off. So that's good. It left that back glass off. So there you go. It's installed. We can drop our coin in. Drop our coin in. Now again, just to recap, I'm going to hit F1. If you look at your play field, there it is. That menu that popped up, and if you can see real close there, use external DMD is not checked anymore. So if your external DMD is showing up over there, hit F1, go over there and uncheck that use external DMD. I can just hit escape and get out of that. Got four credits. Whoa, that's like totally rad. The start button and launch of all. There you go. I apologize if I go on too much and take a little longer at these videos, but I'd like to make sure everybody's clear on exactly how to manipulate these files and move them around. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content, hit the subscribe button and uh, check out these because I try to put one of these out about once a week. So there you go. Bally's. Whoa. I saved it. Bally's Radical. Cool table. Cool sounds. I love it. Have a good one and thanks for watching.